Now, I have to admit, going into this video, I didn't think I was going to enjoy playing Advanced Warfare Zombies. Probably because there is so much hatred towards this game by the community. After playing these maps, most of which for my first time, my main takeaway was, why the hell does the community hate this game so much? The story and the mode began on the Exo Survival map Riot, where a prison riot has turned into a war. We play as Atlas soldiers, and mysteriously during the map, Manticore signatures land and explode. The narrator of the map reveals the DNA bomb should have wiped us out and must have been targeted at hostile forces only. He also questions why. He seems very suspicious of what Atlas are up to. Zombies then begin to spawn in on the survival map, and once we finish it, we use a flare to try and escape and are saved last second by a warbird in an awesome cutscene. We do, however, get a frightening glimpse of the issues to come. In the midst of everything, Atlas actually captured some zombies for research. A fatal mistake as the zombies escape and cause an outbreak at an Atlas facility. Though this was probably very likely to be intentional on Atlas's part. The janitor Oz, security administrator Lilith, security guard Decker, and an executive at the Atlas Corporation Khan all manage to get to the helipad for rescue, but the warbird gets taken down by a bunch of crazy zombies. So it is up to ourselves to survive the outbreak break and try and get some communication to escape. So I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. This map has the worst easter egg by far and I think that's one of the reasons why people don't like advanced warfare. When your starting map has the worst easter egg out of all the maps, it lowers the chances that people want to play the other maps. Though I will say I love Outbreak as a casual map. I played the crap out of this map when I was younger. I get a lot of nostalgia playing it. Last year I got to round 100 on it which was a lot of fun as well. It took me 13 hours. But now it's my first time to actually do the easter egg. So the first thing I do is grab this black box here, which is from the warbird that was destroyed on the helipad. So with this black box, we can actually create a communication signal to get help. At the very back of the map, I can put on the exosuit. I actually really enjoy using the exosuits in zombies, and I think it's a nice addition to zombies. You can play it whenever you want. It's just a different experience overall. I grab Exo Health, which is Juggernog, and there are these infection rounds where zombies can actually infect you, and if you run out of time, you will become a zombie and obviously lose. On my way, I do hit the 3D printer, so that is the mystery box in this game. 3D printer is really cool as well, and I get these nano grenades, which are awesome. I kill myself, and then I kind of just have a bit of fun with the nano grenade, testing it out, and you can see it just slows down the zombies and does a ton of damage. I go over to this security computer here, and I'm trying to get security clearance, so I can actually use the communication signal to obviously get get help. Very luckily, I get the EM1 out of the 3D printer, which is actually needed for the first step of the Easter egg. So what I have to do is hit the 3D printer, shoot the EM1, and it will give me my first tag. So you can see in the bottom left there, it says 01. For my second tag, I need to wait for an infection round and then hit these little buttons on the walls here. I need to hit four of them. I then cure myself. And then at the end of the round, I can then pick up my second tag. For my third clearance tag, I then shoot the lever down here at the bottom. I do activate camouflage. Of course, on Advanced Warfare, you can activate turrets and all kinds of OP stuff, which is awesome. After doing the lever, I then body slam this location here, and then I can pick up my third tag. For my fourth tag, I need to use the trash chute, but I don't actually go in the first time. I have to go in the second time. And instead of taking me to another part of the map, it actually takes me to the secret location here where I have to shoot the ground. And if I shoot the ground enough, it will give me my fourth tag. And there I get it, which is awesome. Because right? sometimes that can take a while. You just got to spam the ground and the thing's moving in so you only have a limited amount of time. Now, at this stage, I just need to get to security clearance 49 by killing zombies and picking up tags they give me. After getting to 49, I then activate this thing here and I can finally go back to the computer, interact with it, go to the exosuit area, and this gives me a warning that I have 24 hours to get to the re rescue area. Once doing this, I can actually upgrade my weapon to level 25, but my IMR is only level 15, so I can't get it all the way up there right now. But I make it all the way to the spawn room of the outbreak area. The warbird's coming in to rescue me, but at the same time, an orbital drop, I believe it is an orbital drop anyway, destroys the warbird. And so that's basically outbreak. Like I said, the worst easter egg, but the next three are pretty awesome. They kind of just get better and better, though casually and for high rounds, I really like outbreak. So the situation isn't very good right now. We've had two warbirds that have been destroyed upon arrival, trying to rescue these guys. So we have no choice but to continue to survive, but we eventually run out of ammo and get swarmed by the zombies. Fortunately, before death, Atlas saved them from their demise. They are then put on stretchers and placed in trucks, 
traveling towards a town that has an Atlas command center within it. After an unknown amount of time, the infection then spreads to the town, which is honestly terrifying. We then awake in the Atlas command center, which is near a burger town. Obviously important because Bobby's gonna help us win this. So I wouldn't say infection is a better map casually, but the Easter egg is way better than the outbreak one. I had a lot of fun beating this map, though I still think the third and the fourth map are better, but there are some very cool stuff you can do on this map. So first off, I go to the sewer and get my exosuit. And one of the cooler things about this map is that you can actually rescue workers. So there are actually civilians hiding around the map. And at certain points in the game, you can actually rescue them. And then a warbird will come and save them. It's quite funny because the guy I'm saving is a Burger Town employee. And I just got a zombie who was an employee as well. It's also kind of funny how the survivor gets picked up. He just kind of hangs off the warbird. <laughs> Kind of hilarious. I then grab this shotgun, the TAC-19, which looks like an alien weapon. It's pretty cool. I need to move through these vents to open a secret door. I also get one weapon upgrade for rescuing the guy, which is pretty cool. Obviously, I didn't mention it last game, but you can actually upgrade your weapon 20 times and then 25 times once you finish the Easter egg. Now, here is the actual secret door. It's got a skull on it. I hit the 3D printer and <laughs> luckily I get this cell 3. There is another one weapon on this game that I'll need to get later. So, exozombies definitely won't just phone it in like we saw with vanguard zombies jeez that game was bad they also added these big security guys who can emp you from a long range pretty easy to take out with the cell three though in the spawn room i jump up and i can get the golden pan which i need for the easter egg and then i finally do my third vent it took me so long to find that vent and as you can see the secret door is open and i come into this ritual kind of room and i can place the golden pan on the altar and it will actually go down and you can see where the grates are i need to kill a bunch of zombies over the grates and fill it with blood until it is full and the golden pan comes up again but finally i kill all of my kills over the grate and i can now pick up the golden pan again i go to the burger town store and put my golden pan on the stove now i need to get a bunch of different meats i do that and then it creates a patty so i need to get the microwave gun out of the 3d printer so it's not that easy i end up going down there and then i have two seconds before i fail because i would have been infected finally around 26 i get the magnetron which is what everyone calls the microwave gun because you essentially heat up the patty and cook it using it which is really cool there are some really fun steps on this map the start's kind of annoying but the end's really fun so once cooking the patty i can then get a bun by killing a zombie with the microwave weapon i do get that and i can make a burger i gotta be careful here i nearly go down by a bunch of crawlers but once i pick up the burger it then affects me because it's just so disgusting and so i cure myself once my burger is somewhat close I can bring him to Bobby and he will eat it, which is pretty awesome. And I can start my next step. So I have to go to these plans here, this wall here, and then I have to make my way really fast over to this location here to pick up a box. I place the box at the gas station over here and then I just have to wait some time. This is really easy. And then I get a red box. I can then give this to Bobby again. So Bobby's helping us out. Pretty cool. He gives us a key. And now we can enter the Burger Town Burger. And you will notice there is a Burger Town missile in it, which is kind of fun. Money. There's also a weapon upgrade and I upgrade my weapon to level 25, which gives me diamond camo in my cell three. Really cool stuff. After interacting with this diagram of Bobby on the wall in the burger tower, I can then activate the crocodile so you can see it there. And I need to shoot the crocodile and I need to shoot the crocodile as it's grabbing a zombie. And this will destroy the crocodile for one and also give me the hand of the zombie. With the hand, I can then press on here and get a card, add the data card to the diagram and then boom, all of these little burger bombs will come out of the burger tower i don't know i actually kind of like this map more the more i think about it the more i look at it it was fun i don't know if it's it just isn't as good as the third and the fourth map in my opinion but it's still a pretty damn good map finally after a bit of time the missile launches i'm actually not entirely sure what the purpose of the missile is in terms of the story i think for some reason the main purpose is it allows us to pick up this data card here that we can give to bobby and then bobby will come to live and so we have finished the Easter egg. I'm pretty sure there's an alternative ending where Bobby just gives you a bunch of power-ups or cash or something. But luckily, I got the ending where Bobby actually comes onto the map and helps us with the zombies, which I think was absolutely awesome. He's quite strong, actually. But I eventually just down myself on purpose. It took me an hour and 45 minutes. But we beat Burger Town or Infection. Though, with this ending, we haven't been saved. So we eventually take up the high ground on the burger shop and begin to get swarmed by the zombies. But again, just like on 
third outbreak, we are saved. But this time, it isn't by Atlas, but actually Sentinel. This is where we meet Lennox, who claims he has been watching us for a long time. He declares one of us has to die, and so he shoots Oz. We then get a narration from Oz telling us that this bullet to the head awakened him and that he actually knows Lennox. So it is hinted during this narration that Oz's memories have been changed and manipulated by Atlas. Lennox then drops a bomb by telling us that Oz was actually the cause of the infection and says a bullet won't stop him. Then he tells the rest of the crew that we were all dead once. So pretty insane stuff right now. The crew then gets sedated and loaded up on a VTOL. At the same time, Atlas come to chase us with their own warbirds. Because according to Oz, dead or alive, we are Atlas's prize pets. We then arrive to a secret ship and just before landing, Oz wakes and is now a zombie. So things are getting pretty crazy right now in the story and I'm loving it. We then need to survive both the undead aboard the ship and Atlas soldiers planning infectious bombs after landing from warbirds. In my game, I got to play as Lennox, which I thought was really cool. At the very start of the game, I make my way to the armory and start to hit the 3D printer. My first hit of the 3D printer, I get the Cell 3, which again, like I said, is the best weapon in this game. There is another Wonder Weapon on Carrier, so we've gotten three Wonder Weapons so far. Just like on Outbreak, I travel to the complete opposite side of the map to get my exosuit. I then grab these teleport grenades, which are very useful for this map and just useful in general. And then I activate this trap and teleport into this room here and enable the power. So cool little secret room. We've had a few of those already on Advanced Warfare. Then I have to do the grenade step. Now, this really isn't that hard. I saw so many people, like, when I was trying to research how to actually do this step. So many people were confused. I found one video which was really helpful. Basically, all I had to do was shoot my grenades when a certain symbol came up on the screen there into one of the holes. Really not that hard at all. Once completed, I got a little tag here, but I, I also pack punched my weapon there. And then I put the tag on the vault. We need to get a bunch of these tags, and then we can finally open the vault. Just like I said before, Atlas soldiers come aboard the ship and try and leave infectious bombs. I enjoy this on the map carrier although in the higher higher rounds it gets obnoxious as hell but for the story and beating the map it's it's fun i get some more weapons from the 3d printer and give it to this hand which is a weapon disposal from atlas and in return he gives me some alcohol so i get drunk this next step don't know how it refers to the story whatsoever but anyway i get drunk i have to activate this little security sensory and i have to traverse it whilst drunk really fun step honestly i thought it was really cool and at the very end i grab my second tag and I can also teleport back and I'm no longer drunk. I give some more weapons to the weapon disposal and it gives me parts to build a fishing rod. Whilst I'm building the fishing rod, I need to get three parts. I also collect parts from teleportation zombies and build this teleporter. With the fishing rod, I get a shovel and using the teleporter I just built, I can teleport to this little island of sand out in the middle of nowhere and I have to dig up using the shovel my third card. I do eventually get it and then run into the water and it teleports me back and interact with the vault so now i just need one more i then come to captain dj's locker and interact with it and it gives me a quote and now i can move on to the next step so for this step i need to find one of these ufos that has a power up and next to it will be a second one that is empty but once you destroy it it gives a part which i believe is a lever and i can add this lever to this panel on the wall with the panel of the wall i can call a shark cage into the map but first i have to do a few things you can see me using my teleport grenades here trying to survive and i get caught out and i go down. Teleporter grenades are awesome, but man, they're scary. You can see me using them again. I run out. I honestly thought I was dead here. Keep in mind, I just went down, so I don't have quick revive, so I should have failed there, really. I'm not sure how I survived that. And luckily, with my fishing rod, I get a little fish, and this will attract a shark. I get the royalty camo by upgrading my weapon to level 20, and then get diamond camo by upgrading my level to level 25. So, at this stage, I just need to kill a bunch of zombies. It's a bit like the ritual room on infection. I just have to kill the zombies above these grates, and then a zombie will come as long as I have the fish. I then use the lever that I collected earlier from the UFO to pull down the shark cage. This was kind of sketchy because it was like around 34 or something, but I can jump into the shark cage and then the shark comes up, kind of jump scared me there, and I can pick out his eye, which is a very cool step as well. And with this, I can open Captain DJ's locker and put the, my next part into the vault. Again, I use the weapon disposal to get another part. This time it is a C4 and I can go up to the vault and initiate it. We don't get to see it, but I'm guessing it explodes the vault and now we are 
inside. After entering the vault, we are able to cause the ship to self-destruct in two minutes. We then make our way through the boat to find an escape pod, which we do find, but at that very moment, Oz appears. At this stage, the infection has spread all across the Western Hemisphere and been completely devastating. It is through narration in Oz's zombified state that we learn he was the catalyst used by Atlas to start the outbreak. He just couldn't remember until he was shot because Atlas had done something to his memories. Fortunately for the crew, the boat is beginning to disintegrate and Oz falls through the floor and they escape. Whilst in the pod, we then discuss plans on where to find Oz and how to kill him. So we travel and eliminate some guards at an underwater Atlas facility where, where Oz is causing havoc. Oz absolutely hates Atlas for posing as the saviors of mankind while simultaneously creating the most lethal and horrific weapons to exterminate mankind, all in the name of money. The only difference in this situation is the weapon came home, Oz being the weapon. Throughout this map, we go through several stages to kill Oz as he teleports us into small boss fights. So simultaneously, we have to defeat Oz whilst also doing the Easter. In my opinion, this is by far the best map on Advanced Warfare and a very, very good map in Zombies history. This was my first or second time ever playing this map, so I got to learn the map by just looking at the main menu. It has everything on it, which makes it a lot more simple. So first of all, again, just like on every map, I make my way to the exosuit. I do have like 10 dogs behind me because I'm trying to save as much ammo as possible. And then I buy the AMR-9. It is only round five and I unfortunately go down. I was trying to save my ammo maybe a bit too much there, but thankfully exo health was right next to me and I was like, you know what? I'll keep going. I'm sure I will be fine. So the first step is I just have to shoot these wheels until they turn to a certain point where a blue light turns on. I just have to do that three times. But immediately after doing that, I get teleported to my first boss fight with Oz, which was really, really easy. I didn't really have to do anything, I don't believe. And so it teleported me out. It gets way, way more hectic and way cooler with Oz. With those three blue lights, I can now enter this room. It was another secret room. You couldn't get in there unless you turned on the three blue lights. I interact with the computer just like on Outbreak, and then I can depressurize this area here but just because i depressurize the area doesn't mean i can go in there straight away i need to wait i need to wait for a goliath to spawn on the map and then enter the goliath this is already a really cool step i think what makes this map is one the setting is just awesome and two the easter egg steps are really fun and different so with the goliath i have to come out into this underwater area i knock the zombie out of my way and then activate this light here and make my way back into the facility if i didn't do that i would have drowned i believe and died. So after turning on the light, it, it sets up a bunch of challenges. So the first challenge I have to do is just shoot five drones in one round. Super easy. At round 13, I get teleported back into a mini boss fight with Oz. This one was really easy as well. I just had to shoot him in four different locations whilst he caused little traps and, and zombies to spawn in and all sorts of weird stuff. So here the floor was electric, but then after a while, I am able to shoot him again. And like I said, I just had to do it four times. Really not that hard. Sometimes he spawns things on the roof sometimes turrets spawn in and also gas can spawn in but I take him out. At the end of these Oz rounds, I do get a bunch of credits, which is really satisfying. So the next step is I have to get electric zombies to hit me right next to this panel here. They will die and charge the panel. One of the weirder steps on the Easter egg, but not too hard whatsoever. And I do eventually complete it. And you can see because it's just zapping like crazy. The next step is a grenade challenge, as you can see in the bottom left. I can only use grenades this whole round. Luckily, I do have infinite grenades. So this is really fun. I just jump around spamming grenades. Grenades. I feel like whoever designed this easter egg was like, you know what, let's just let the player have as much fun as possible. At round 20, I entered the final stage of the boss fight with Oz, where he is this monster, really, just mutated, disgusting thing. He spawns in. I really don't have anything good at this stage in the game at round 20. I hit the 3D printer and I get the cell 3. My luck was pretty insane. At this stage, I didn't know how to eliminate Oz. I'm going to be completely real. So I was just shooting him and he has armor, so it does no damage. But if you get infected by Oz and then cure yourself, you will have a brief window where you can do damage to Oz. And so as you can see here, I do quite a lot of damage with my cell 3. Again, I got so lucky multiple games here, like on Carrier, I got this cell 3 first go. This boss fight does get quite difficult and I was trying to get some ammo and I didn't realize how many zombies were behind me and I got taken out. There's gas on the map and then the lasers at the top disallow you to use your exosuit. So I was getting kind of stressed. Obviously, if I go down here, I fail. So I use 
used my sentinel drop and all these sentinel troops came in and these guys are really 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 strong super overpowered another great thing that advanced warfare implemented it's a get out of jail free card but it's so satisfying to use and it's just cool to have fellow soldiers on the map with you and boom we've eliminated oz the guy who was our teammate at the very start the monster himself not by his own design but atlas someone who is purely evil and possibly has more hatred for atlas themselves than anyone else but we have to take him down or he would probably kill us so for this next step i have to go to the starting room and i have to actually jump out of the map and do jumping puzzles which is surprisingly a lot of fun now if i miss i don't die it just takes me back to the spawn room just like when i finish the puzzle here i got stuck on this one for a little while so you gotta do a slide jump dash dash a double dash so this was probably the hardest one i had to do a slide jump dash dash through the two walls so the next step is i have to do just simon says really easy it shows me a pattern i just have to repeat the pattern on these four little computers for the next challenge it is friendly fire so i will have four bots that spawn in and i'm not allowed to kill them but they damage me i was not expecting this step to be so hard when i looked it up and i was researching it i was like oh this step will be super easy i have teammates i didn't realize they shot at me so i went down once and it was on an infection round which made it even more awkward and you can see they do a ton of damage damage as well or at least they look like they're doing a ton of damage the next step is i have to line the top row of the bottom row by doing certain actions so as you saw there i did four jumps which which changed the second number to four and then i just needed nine kills or so and then completely now, possibly for the most fun I had on this map is the rocket challenge where you get a level 25 mayhem rocket launcher. Granted, it is round 29 and there's no PhD in this game, so it's a little bit risky, but it's so much fun. I, I don't think I've ever used the mayhem. I did not realize it was so good. Whoever created this Easter egg, obviously a team did. They were thinking, what can the player have the most fun doing? I just wish this was the first map instead of the last map. So people appreciated this game more. And that's actually the last challenge we have to do i just have to go to the computer go to this little perk machine and it will teleport me to oz's memories i just have to survive a round or two in this area here i have three bots that spawn in which are the other characters and oz talks to us he mentions that khan is an old toothless shark lilith was a hacker and decker took drugs and perhaps that's why they were chosen to be whatever they are oz says that they're one strain one mutation away from becoming one of those things which I think he's referring to as a zombie. Then he mentions that we are the cure and he is the disease, supply and demand. So I may be wrong, but my guess is Atlas have caused this outbreak. I mean, that's obvious, but they've also made it so some people don't get affected. So the demand is that you have a chance of being infected and so they will supply you with the cure. So they're gonna get filthy rich because they're the only ones who have the cure. So we have fully eliminated the big bad Oz, although it wasn't Oz's fault because it was Atlas who made him into a monster. Lilith then burns his grotesque corpse, but it's ironic because as we see the extermination of one Oz, the camera pounds down to see unimaginable amount of Oz's, which sounds weird, but is terrifying in its own right. The game then ends with Oz waking up. In my opinion, I thought this ending was awesome and quite satisfying. It has an element of impending doom. For really, that's what Advanced Warfare Zombies symbolized. The inevitability of greed to destroy mankind. 